Melissa and welcome to 2016. We are here. We're actually like almost done with January by the time I'm filming this. But I'm here to do my 2015 most reached for products. So what I did is, it's I mean it's kind of like a favorites basically, but it's the products that I have consistently been reaching for and um, just the ones that I gravitate towards. Just They're like my tried and true that I know I can count on if I need to rely on something. Those are the ones that I'm going to reach for. And I actually have some ones that I mentioned last year in my 2014 most reached for products. So last year's video went incredibly long and I had to break it down into two videos. I got to break it down into three this year. So I've separated my categories. I'm gonna do face and lips in this video. My next video will be all eyes, all eyes on you. And my third video will be like randoms, brushes, hair stuff, perfumes, things like that. Things that um, I don't normally talk about, but that will be the third installment of my 2015 most reached for products. So without any further ado, let's jump into face products. now. I mentioned this in my 2014 ones where there are some categories, I, I, I'm not going to break this into categories because there are some categories that I just don't have a favorite for. Certain things like primers, I just, I haven't found a primer that I'm like, this is a holy grail, this is my saving grace. I basically use a primer till it's done and then I buy a different one and try it. I haven't had one where I'm like, okay, this is it. And I'm kind of like that with concealers as well. I'm trying different ones, but I haven't, and I've gone through them and I use them, but they're my most reached for in the sense that I use the whole product up, but it's because that's what I owned at the time. So I just kind of want to make that, you know, that's what it is. However, these are products that I've either repurchased or that I am consciously, when I have a drawer full of, you know, makeup palettes or a drawer full of foundations, these are the ones that I'm reaching for amongst all of that. So I hope that makes sense. Let's start with foundation. So the first foundation I'm going to mention is this Lorac Natural Performance Foundation and I have this in the shade NP3. I like the pump on this. It kind of pops up like that and then it squirts out. However, I've had some issues with the pump where it's not pumping out consistent amounts. So sometimes I need like one and a half, sometimes I need two pumps, sometimes I need like three. Um, I like this foundation. It's a little off on my skin tone, so sometimes I have to work with it. It pulls a little more pink on me, so it, you know, it doesn't always blend right, and sometimes, you know, the powder I use, it can be a little bit tricky to work with. However, I really like the way that it sits on my skin, and it does give my face, like, a nice natural feeling to it, or look to it, without being too cakey or, or anything like that, so definitely a most reached form. I'm, my bucket is here, so you're going to see me kind of reaching. My my next one, love this, love this. I got this, I think in the spring. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way. This was a new release this year. I got this in the shade Vanilla, and Ipsy hooked it up. They um, were giving these away with points, so I was able to snag one of these. Love this foundation. You got a pump and everything. I wore this all through the summer, and sometimes in the summer I would mix it with my L'Oreal uh, Lumi foundation. And that would make it a little bit darker and give like a little bit more of a glow to it. But I love the way that this sits on my skin. This is the foundation I am wearing today. I love it the way that it sits on the skin. I love the way that it blends. It doesn't stick to any dry patches. Sometimes I do have that problem with the um, Lorac one that it can stick to some dry areas on my face. But this sits so beautifully. I get compliments when I wear this on my skin. I just absolutely, absolutely love, love this foundation. Definitely most reached for. This is a two-time, I guess, winner or two-time most reached for product, and it is the L'Oreal BB Cream. In last year's most reached for, I mentioned this one and the, the regular version. This is the matte version. It's just the one that I grabbed. I love both of these. These are great for that I'm, you know, running errands and maybe I have some redness on my face that I just kind of want to blend everything together or anything like that where I don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup, but I just want a little bit of evenness in my skin tone. So I reach for this one. I like the matte a little bit more than the regular, but either of them are fine. If you have dry skin, then go for the regular one. And I have both of them in the shade light. And they have an SPF in them, which is fantastic. 
So if you're part of the beauty world, if you watch YouTube videos or anything, you knew that contouring blew up this year. Like that was the thing to do. And a lot of brands released contouring palettes. Um, the, the most famous, I think, or the original would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Then you had the Kat Von D one come out. And then the one that I actually purchased was the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I don't really hear people talk about this one. I don't own the other two to be able to compare it to them, but I do own this one and I really like like it. So here's what it looks like. And you get a beige highlight, a yellow highlight, and this is a shimmer highlight. Then you have a me uh, light contour, deep contour, and a medium contour. So I really like this. I do have this on as my contour today. Did I set my under eye? I think I set my, oh no, I didn't set my under eye with this. But sometimes I use the beige highlight, sometimes I use a mixture of the beige and the yellow, and then sometimes I use the sparkle or the shimmery one to highlight the high points of my face. I have to admit, I don't get much use out of the deep contour, but I do go between the medium and the light. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but the light one actually is a little bit more gray. Whereas the medium, with, and this is what I like about it, it has a little bit more, I don't want to say it's darker, but it, it's a little bit warmer. So you can kind of get, if you're looking for a warmer type of contour, you have that. If you're looking for a cooler type of contour, you have that there. So that's what I really like about this. These powders are so silky, like so smooth, so blendable. I absolutely love the way that this these powders just blend and melt into my skin to just give me that natural shadow. So definitely love this. This, this came with a blush that you might see later, so. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. You could see it, or maybe you won't. Probably will. Stay tuned. Okay. None of that nonsense. Moving on to, um, okay, let's do this one. I picked this up, gosh, I don't re quite remember when during the year that I got this, but it instantly became a favorite. Instantly. This is the Becca Afterglow palette. Okay. So when you open this bad boy up, if I can open it. You get in here, you get, where am I? Okay, two blush colors, two kind of blush toppers, and then a highlight. So you get Flower Child, Wild Honey, Topaz, Rose Gold, and Moonstone. I love this. I may have featured this in a favorites before, but it is absolutely a most reached for palette. I love this. I love these two blushes more than I ever thought I would. And in fact, Wild Honey, I love so much more than I thought. That is the blush that I have on today. I did top it a little bit with um, Topaz, and then I did use Moonstone as my highlight on the cheekbone, tip of my nose, you know, that whole goodness. So I, it does get very fingerprinty, so sorry about that. But I absolutely love this. I think if you haven't tried any of the Becca products and you're curious about them, this is a fantastic way to start and to kind of dive into them. And honestly, you know, the size of the blushes, they everything is smaller in here, but I've never really, I think one thing I've hit pan on on a blush. So, you know, and I, I probably would consider purchasing this if I did hit pan on it, but definitely a good deal. I love it, reach for it constantly. Okay, the next two products are from The Bomb, and I actually purchased these in a kit like a few years back. It came with three products. I'm going to mention two of them. So the first is The Bomb's Hot Mama Blush. You guys, you guys, this blush is stunning, stunning. I absolutely love this. I wear this blush so much that I'm actually really surprised I haven't hit pan on it because I love this. I wear it all the time. It is just this beautiful, like this isn't do it justice. It's this peachy, corally, golden gorgeousness. And just when it's on the cheeks, it just does something. It just looks so fantastic on the cheeks. You don't need a highlighter with this because it has that natural like sheen glow to it with the goldenness of it. And I like this probably, you know, people would say this is more of a summer blush. I would tell you wrong. I love it in the fall because of the, the orangeness, the warmth of it. I love it in the winter because it just brightens the way that my face looks. And I love it in the summer when I'm a little bit tanner. So I think this blush is fantastic and I highly recommend you getting your hands on it. The next one that is from The Bomb is The Bomb's Sexy Mama Palette. And this is their Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. You guys ready? I hit pan. I hit pan on this, on a powder. Like, that's unbelievable. I don't, 
wear powder a lot. So for me to hit pan is unbelievable. Like I'm not someone that always sets my face with a powder. So the fact that I have used this so much that I've hit pan is huge. I love this powder. It is so soft and it, it has a color in the pan, but it, it is translucent when you put it on the skin. I mean, if you're a really dark, dark, skin tone it may not be translucent on you i'm not 100 percent sure but you know i would say for like my skin tone maybe a medium type skin tone it's unfair this just blends in you can't even detect that it's there there's no flashback on it there's no white cast on it and it does a good job of setting my makeup like i'll set my t-zone or anything like that so definitely a most reached for Next, I want to mention the Maybelline Master Glaze Blush Sticks, and I think, were these a... I just want to check, yes. I mentioned these last year as well as a most reached for product because they're easy, and who doesn't love an easy beauty product? I have these in the shade Just, just Pinched Pink, which is this shade here, and then I have this one in Pink Fever is this shade here so these they're just you don't have to think about them they're easy to do you just you swipe them on and blend it out with your finger you don't need a brush I mean you can use a brush but that's it and you have a nice natural flush to the cheek you can use your finger to either tap it on or you can just put it right on however you want to do it but they're just so easy to use and these I love doing um this one the lighter pink one just pinch pink <laughs> with my Rubble BB Cream because when you put the Rubble BB Cream on and you flattened your face out, sometimes you want to add a little bit of flush of color back into it. So I'll put that all over my face, take this, dab it on, blend it in, and I look healthy. I look like I'm ready to face the world without having to take a hundred steps or whatever the case is to do your makeup. So I absolutely love these two time representation in my most reached for products. I just have just a couple more um, face products to mention before I move on to lips. So this is just a Z palette of mine and I have in here the Serenity Scott the Hamptons Contour Powder. I think it's considered a blush but it's a contour shade. So that's it right there and this is a... I, I love this because it's like a neutral brown. Like you can see right here, this is um, NYX Blush and Taupe, which is very cool toned. It's very gray. And if I compare it to, let me just grab. Okay. This is Jean Inspire. And so you can see that's very warm. So this is like in the middle. It's like a neutral contour color, which I like because it doesn't pull too gray. It doesn't pull too warm. It's like that perfect shading color. So at least for my skin tone, and I absolutely love that. So that's definitely a most reached for product. And then I also just want to give a shout out to um, right here. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Banana Powder, which they do sell individually like this, I think on the website. I have a hair on my face. Um, I love that. I love that for setting my under eye. Sometimes I do find it looks a little too yellow. It gets weird how that happens. Like some days it's fine and some days it's too yellow, but I definitely love that one. So most reached for. Let's move on to some of my lip most reached for products. Now, it's actually funny because last year I didn't mention any lip products. I said that I rotate through lipstick so much so I didn't have any that were most reached for and I mentioned lip liners. This year I have no lip liners because I hate using them. I try to, but I really just don't like doing it. And I have lip products, so whatever. Okay, some are formulas, some are shades, some are both, some are, let's go. This one, let's just start. I'm just, I have it all in front of me. Let's just go. Love this, love this. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Fine Longwear Lipstick in Melted Fig. Get your hands on this. I love it. This shade is beautiful. This formula is beautiful. I have two of the Melted Metallics. I don't love them as much as this one. This, everything about this gives me life. Like, I just love it. Let's see if I can do a little swatcher. It's a little sponge tip applicator, which isn't the cleanest and sometimes doesn't give you a great um, swatch. I just got a little bit there. There it is. It is this beautiful, I don't have a towel. Ah! Where's my towel? I'm gonna have to get my towel. It is this beautiful purple color, but like not like whoa bam purple. Like it's just a beautiful mauvey purple. It just looks 
fantastic on the lips feels really good it's not in with that whole matte lip trend that's hip right now but it looks stunning on the lips so I highly highly recommend this Next, I have to give a shout out to this because this has been in my purse forever. I reach for this all the time. And this is like, when I don't feel like thinking, this is the color I grab. And it is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Lumiere. This, was, this is a matte formula and it is the collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This color is stunning, you guys. Right there. It's just beautiful. It's that your lips but oomphed, like amplified and it this is a really great formula on the lips. It, it doesn't feel like a matte lipstick. It just feels really comfortable. It looks really beautiful. And it's an I don't have to think about it type of lip product. So definitely a most reached for. I know this had been in my favorites before. Um, not my 2014 like most reached for because I got this in 2015. But this has been in a monthly favorites for me. This is the only MAC lipstick that I own. And it is in the shade Up the Amp. Oh, how about I show you? Beautiful. It is, I like purple colors. Like I like these kinds of colors. They go with my hair and everything. So I just like them. It's that shade there. It is stunning. It is so beautiful. Again, really comfortable on the lips. And this is one of those shades that is, people can be scared to wear, but it's like, a neutral without being a neutral like it, it works it just works on the skin and I wear this and my friend Jessica who you've seen through uh, my blog chat or my palette challenges she is light hair light eyes she has very different complexion well like skin coloring than I do and she wears this color and it looks great on both of us and I would imagine on dark skin that it would look really beautiful too so it's just a really really fantastic um, lipstick okay Ah, I have five of these out, so I'm going to mention them. These are the little Rock, hold up, hold up, the Rock Alter Ego Lipsticks. Now, these are all the holiday packaging. I do have some from the regular line, but these are actually my favorite, and some of them are in their regular line. So, this was last year's holiday kit in the gold packaging, but you can find them in the gunmetal um, collection, or it's just their regular collection. They're just in like a gunmetal gray kind of packaging. These lipsticks are so comfortable. And if you haven't noticed, I'm all about comfort. Like my lips get dry and it happens. And sometimes, you know, with the new matte lip trend is they, they look bad with, with crackly lips or whatever the case is. So I'm all about things that are comfortable. These are a matte formula, but they don't feel like a matte. They just feel really fantastic. So some of my favorite shades, this is Free Spirit. Surprise, surprise, we got a purple. Um, I'm going to try swatching this way, so let's say Free Spirit. This is CEO, which is a nude color. Guys, I'm doing it with my left hand, so be, uh, be warned. That was CEO, and this is Duchess. And I actually like to wear CEO and Duchess together, so those two are kind of a little bit more nude. Let me get those packaged back up. And those, like I said, those three are all part of the normal line. These, I don't believe are. This was in their Love, Lust, and Lace gift set um, from this holiday season. But this is the shade Lolita, which is a deeper purple. It's like a deeper purple with like a fuchsia hint to it. So I say deeper, but it actually got a little bit more pink to it than um, Free Spirit. And then this one is Flirt, and I love this. This is like an everyday color. Beautiful. So I love the formula of these lipsticks. I recommend that you go, you swatch them, find the one, the colors that you like and give them a try because I don't think you would be disappointed in them because they're really, really, really fantastic. Similar to those, and I would say almost comparable, I don't want to say dupes, but very comparable to the comfort level on the lips is the Maybelline, what are you called? Maybelline Color Sensational Mattes and they come in this packaging. So I absolutely adore these. They feel fantastic. This is one of the best matte formulas out there. I have these in the shade. My two most reached for shades are Lust for Blush, which is this shade here, which is just so beautiful. Let's go here. Let's be weird about it. There it is right there. And then the one that I'm wearing today is Touch of Spice, which is uh, a little bit more brownie. Okay. So we have 
such as face and lust for blush now if you can see that all my shades are kind of pretty similar these are like my natural shades the ones I don't have to think for of course I wear reds of course I wear brighter colors but these are my most reached for ones and these they're drugstore you can get these as a buy one get one 50 or some kind of percentage off but they're fantastic so definitely check those out. Over the summer, I picked up a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Mother, and I never hear people talk about this shade. You hear Bow and Arrow, you hear Lolita, and I have Lolita, I have Lolita 1 and 2. Um, but this shade is just so, here, can you guess which one it is on here, since they all look the same? It's this beautiful shade here. Now I wore this a lot in the summer because again, I didn't have to think about it. I put this on the lips and it just stayed. It didn't budge, it didn't feel drying, and it was just like a really natural, but natural in the sense of it didn't look like too much on my face. Like sometimes when you wear a brighter color, it can it can be overwhelming, but it wasn't, and it was just really, really beautiful. It's got a nice doe foot applicator with this nice slant that just fits on the lips comfortably, especially to get up into that cupid's bow. And I don't know why more people don't talk about this. I know right now the trend is that like brownish nudes, but that doesn't work for everybody and not everybody likes that. So if you want something a little bit more like on the mauve side or a little bit more pinky, check out the shade Mother because it's really, really beautiful. And then I also got um, one of these Meat Matte Hues from The Balm and this is in the shade Committed. This is along that, that brown shade. So let me get that swatched for you there. It is that shade, right, the one below, it's really hard to do this upside down, okay, it's that shade there. And this is that a little bit browner, a little bit more on that tone, actually kind of similar to what I have on, but not totally. And these are great, they feel really comfortable on the lips, they smell like a mint, um, what are they, like the Girl Scout cookies, the Thin Mints, that's what they smell like. There is a little bit of dryness on them that happens with these um, liquefied matte lipsticks, like, I, just, I haven't found one that doesn't feel super dry. The, I would say the Kat Von D one feels the least drying, but there's a little bit that happens there. This one does do a little bit of that drying effect, but I do really like the color, and I do think that the formula really isn't that bad, so I do reach for that a lot. And then finally, I could have put this in my last or my last video in this series, but I just wanted to give it a quick shout out to this one. This is the e.l.f. what are you called? lip exfoliator. So guys, don't even judge me because mine is so busted. This is what it looks like. It normally looks like a lipstick. I'm almost out of it. I should get a new one. But especially now with the matte lip trend, you have to exfoliate your lips. Get that dead nonsense off of there. I mean, don't do this really heavy or anything, but every now and then I just like to take this on my lips and I just kind of rub it in. And it's in this like balmy texture. So as you're rubbing it in and the, the sugar in there is exfoliating it, it's also kind of hydrating it and it's leaving this balm on there, which is conditioning your lips as well. So definitely um, a most reach for for mine because just got to keep those lips in check, you know? Whew, we made it. We made it through the whole thing. That was it for part one, which was face and lips. Stay tuned for part two, which will be eyes, all eyes. And part three will be like randoms. It'll be perfume, hair care stuff, some skincare stuff, all that brushes will be in there too. So that'll be part three of this. So stay tuned for those. If they're up already, I will have them linked down below. Otherwise, just subscribe. Go, I mean, why not, right? Subscribe so you know when those videos will come out. And I just wanna say thank you so much to all of my subscribers out there. I appreciate you taking the time to watch me and sitting down and, and it, it means the world to me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Well, I'm here to do my Boxy Charm and Ipsy Bags unboxings, openings for the month of January. January 2016.